Hi, and welcome to episode 5 of my encounters with Australian birds. Today I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about my encounters with Australian parrots. Um, and I'll be showing you some video clips and some still shots of some of the parrots that I've encountered and seen over the years. We get many of them in South Australia, but not all of the species. I'd just like to recommend a couple of things in, in this uh, episode. Um, first of all, there is a fantastic um, DVD put out by the Australian Broadcasting Commission called Australia, the Land of Parrots. And uh, I'd highly recommend this. It's an amazing production. Um, I was just reading from the back here, it says parrots and cockatoos are among the most conspicuous birds in Australia. They are everywhere and often in large numbers. These extraordinary birds make their home in habitats ranging from the dense rainforests of the tropical north to the cold windswept southern coastlines and across the arid desert interior. This was filmed by David Pera and Elizabeth Pera Cook and it's a fantastic video. I would recommend it heartily gives you some amazing insight into Australian parrots. The other thing I'd like to recommend is this book Australian Parrots by Joseph M. Forshaw. He's an ornithologist, a famous Australian ornithologist, and William T. Cooper, the late Australian bird artist who does all the illustrations in this book. And um, this is a wonderful publication. Uh, William T. Cooper died a couple of years ago probably now and uh, was considered by many to be Australia's best bird artist. And um, so I'd highly recommend this book, and there are heaps of others of course. I'll be gradually going through my book collection and video collection during this series. So that's um, Australian Parrots, and that was put out by the Ewer Smith Press. This one here was the second edition. I've got a couple of editions of this. You can pick them up second hand if you shop around. and. Um, I'd highly recommend it. So once again, thanks for watching Australian Parrots. Uh, I'll give a little bit more of an insight in a second about some of the parrots that will feature today. Thanks for watching. This little parrot that I filmed here is a mulga parrot. Mulga parrots are a beautiful smaller parrot, Australian parrot, very similar to the red rump parrot, which is also um, a grass parrot or grassies they call them. and um, they are one of the most attractive little birds and on this particular property my in-laws were setting up some nesting boxes to encourage these birds to nest because uh, nesting boxes or hollows in trees are at a premium these days there's not so many as there used to be and lots of bird and, and birds and animals compete with the parrots for them so uh, hence you'll find that we've put up a few nesting boxes on this property you'll see that in a minute Here is the mulga parrot again, a little bit more in the wide open here, but uh, you'll see uh, some shots in a minute of the nesting boxes that were set up on my um, in-laws property at Renmark West and I was checking these out with my young nephew David and you'll hear us discussing these birds as they're having a look at the hollows and thinking about popping in. Show this footage. Did the other one go in the hole? No, she flew backwards. And the male's looking in it. She's got to get Dad's approval first. <laughs> Yeah. Is he in the sun? Well, just stay with this for the moment. This shot in a cage shows a close-up of the markings on the male mulga parrot. And here are some sitting on wires out in the open uh, at Renmark with the sun shining on them and just basking there. I tend to like these type of photos 
um, as much as I like close-ups because uh, they are a pleasing composition to me and they make it interesting with the diagonal lines and uh, so I enjoy taking that sort of shot as well male and female there and uh, they're a beautiful little parrot a similar parrot that you um, see around um, in South Australia and other parts of the country as is the red rump parrot or we call them grassies in South Australia similar in size to the mulga parrot uh, more so in uh, cities and gardens than the outback but you'll still get them in the countryside as well uh, whereas the mulga parrots are more confined to the um, uh, the bush mulga mallee countries and you don't see them all that often in the townships so enjoy, this has been uh, the Mulga Parrot. And this this is the King Parrot, one of my favourite parrots. I first found these or saw one of these in my father-in-law's aviary at Brenmark many years ago. And uh, this, this one was um, right out the front of the interpretive centre over at Tidbin Villa in ACT near Canberra. It's a beautiful national park there. And he was just uh, feeding away to himself there. I do like the um, the markings on on the that that sort of camouflage him in the leaves as well. This shows you how close we were to the actual bird. And uh, a beautiful parrot, the king parrots. I've seen them in in lots of parts of Australia where their habitat is, and uh, they're fairly widespread. And uh, in the right places, you'll see them often. Now we come to the uh, rosellas. This is the crimson rosella, beautiful bird, and um, there are about six species, I think, of rosellas in Australia. And uh, I'm going to concentrate on this one today. I have many shots which I might use in a later presentation on parrots of the other rosellas, but this is just concentrating on the, the crimson parrot. These were shots taken on uh, Kangaroo Island, I think. Here he is trying to get inside a, a nesting box in the rain. This is the same place on Kangaroo Island. This next little shot shows a uh, couple of uh, the parrots on uh, electricity wires at Gore just recently. And uh, you've just got to keep looking up when you're looking for birds and have your camera ready. You don't get too many shots like you know of, of birds like that. But however, this one here in Victoria somewhere, um, Sometimes you can be lucky and these birds will be just there feeding and you'll be able to just stand fairly close to them with a medium telephoto lens and take lots of photos, which is what I was doing on this particular occasion. This was over at a place called Strathgordon near Canberra. It's an artist um, colony um, where lots of people go and do residential art and you, you can, can have, have um, a cup of coffee in the same place and they have artwork on sale. Beautiful birds, cockatoos and parrots tend to uh, be interested in pine trees because they eat the uh, the pine nuts, which uh, is very popular as a as a food source for them. I'll show a lot more parrots on a later episode because I've got many photos of all the different rosellas and many other Australian parrots. Too many to include in this short recording. Enjoy. <laughs> 